everybody, I'm Suzanne, and in today's video, it's a little bit different than what I usually do, in that I'm painting a denim jacket with a dog on it. I'm doing a dog's portrait on a denim jacket, and that's kind of, I don't usually do that, but I was asked by one of my groomers uh, to do the portrait of this dog on this denim jacket for her friend and co-partner in, uh, uh, in the business. And I told her, I said, you know, Sierra, I don't really do that. And, but I, I'll find somebody who can do it for you. And I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't find anybody that I, that I would have trusted to have do this for her. So in this video, you're going to watch me paint Gabby, the black and tan coon hound onto a denim jacket. And I do use acrylic paint. I know you're used to seeing me using oils, but in this case, we use acrylic paint. And I'm gonna take you from start to finish in this video and show you how I painted Gabby the dog on the denim jacket. So thank you for joining me. And if you are my subscribers, as always, thank you so much. And if you're not, please consider subscribing. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this little portrait of Gabby the coon hound on the denim jacket. Okay, here's our setup. Now, you're, this is going to be Gabby the coon hound. And here you can see Gabby the coon hound right here. And the, what we're using today for this particular project is acrylic paint. So you'll you rarely see me using acrylic paint, but on a project like this, yes, this is what we use. So here we have ivory black, cobalt blue, Payne's gray, titanium white. I have uh, raw sienna, burnt umber, and red oxide. And those are the colors we're gonna use to get Miss Gabby on the back of this jean jacket. Now, what I did here, this is just a sketch in basically chalk pastel this is going to come off and the way i'm going to set this acrylic paint is with heat but we'll get onto that a little bit later but let's go ahead and jump into painting a little miss gabby now i'm going to keep my water over here off to the side of course water is your um, solvent for uh, using acrylics and the brushes i'm going to use um, are the same brushes you see me using all the time and it happens to be a number four rosemary shiraz pointed round I'm going to use number one rose, rosemary and uh, Shiraz pointed round, and I may use this. I, I probably won't use the the sable. I'll probably get a different flat brush to to use because I like to save my sables if I can. So um, it almost doesn't really matter. It's just me being. That's just me being me. But I'm um, looking for what I want to use, and I'm not finding it. I only have like a million brushes. I'll just grab this one. We'll use a, we'll use this one here, the Rosemary Eclipse Long Filbert here, okay? So that's what we'll use and we'll jump into this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, since there's really very little uh, room for error when you're trying to get this on, I just need to make sure that I get all the um, um, features of a coon hound on here correctly. So I'm gonna go in here with just the black paint and I'm looking at her neck and her, of course her ears are gonna go on here too. And I'm gonna to use very little water when I'm doing this. And just like with um, oil paints, and I've gotta stay within this confines that I have set here. And I will be able to stack my paint. Now I'll worry about her ear a little bit later. I want to get up here on this, get her neck. You know, being familiar with different breeds is helpful. I don't pretend that I know everything about breeds, but when I'm when I'm doing something like the Coonhound, a breed that I'm not familiar with, other than having <laughs> living in East Tennessee. And going to the, go, having been a, a graduate of uh, uh, UT, I know that the coon hound is, is pretty much a Tennessee breed. Um, uh, the blue tick hound is, is if you're not familiar with University, University of Tennessee, it is our mascot. So, but this is a
I'm going to take a combination of, I'm going to mix the um, red oxide and the raw sienna. And I know the beautiful thing is I know this is going to dry pretty fast. And I'm just going to pop that into the muzzle area. see any of the fabric. part is called the break and I know there's a lot of black
and um, and a little bit of the um, Payne's Gray, Cobalt Blue, a little bit of the uh, Burnt Umber, and Titanium White. And I am just mixing just kind of a nice gray. I didn't want it to be too blue or gray because it's really not that blue or gray in the reference. I need to start getting in other features. So I'm looking, you know, I'm going on top here. She has a neat top. You know, her top point here. She's got a little line that comes down here. Just looking for all the shine. And there's a little bit of shine through here. kind of hitting it and that's how we're starting to create the form and her eyes in here too but I'll have to figure that out in a little bit and I might you know be pulling that out her lead is right up underneath her head here so it kind of bulges a little bit I'm put a little bit of that on here her ear you know, it's a hound dog ear, so yeah, it's long. It comes down to it comes down pretty low. And I'm just kind of suggesting that this is her ear. And it comes down here. color up here and there's a little I need to zoom out just a little bit because you know she's got a pretty hefty neck and I don't want to I'm really not familiar with the breed that much other than I can I'm observing and I'm just wanting to stay consistent oops I got a little too much water on that so if this is where she has this little lead I don't want to make her neck too thin. So I'm actually pulling her neck out a little bit more. So I'm looking at the space between here and here. So this is where I'm making little corrections here. I'll be making the corrections. So I need to make sure that I'm using enough paint when they're being led so I'm not I know what it is the the choke chain or her lead is right underneath here on her head so it, you, you you set it up high right under their jaw you know right so it should come up here so it creates like a little lump right here but I want I want there to be the contrast that you need to really appreciate the painting and the portrait discern what is the background in this picture and what is the actual structure of her head. There's a little bit of a just letting that soak in, pushing it in, pushing it in. I think she has a pretty clean looking neck here. So underneath her ear, her ear comes down really far. <laughs> I mean, I know she's a hound dog, but wow. Okay. So that's even lower. Let's let me get more. some more of the black on top. I don't want to I think that's kind 
comes to about here. But I do want to get the highlights in here, and she does have a lot of neat highlights. And uh, so sometimes it's easier for me to work with wet paint. So I'm going to take a little bit more of a blue and suggest that she's got this neat shine right over here. And you know, if, if you can emphasize muscle or structure, even better. For some of the darker shine. Right. So then you can appreciate where the shadows are. Alright, so this area over her back. I'm going to bring this down to here. I'm going to zoom this back out so I can see. Okay, so we've got all kinds of interesting shine here. And she's got this right underneath here. And folks, I, I have to, full disclosure, I had her chest wall down a little too, too low, so I raised it up the best I could. So her, her back, come on, get it, get it.
I'm gonna give her a little bit more to size her nose a little bit more. After all, she is a coon hound and that nose is important. highlight on that nose. It's really tough because it's hard to get the detail that you're trying to get doing this. Um, just doing the best I can with what I got. And the size that I'm working with and the type of substrate. It's just all different. You know, it's all new to me. I'm going to highlight the top of her nose. Come on, put a little bit lighter than that. Okay, well, that's now, that, that white line is kind of throwing me. Um, I'm hoping that I've, I've got the, it, it may be that I've got to add a little bit more muzzle to her, but I'm feeling pretty good. I'm able to see it through the monitor as well, and it helps me to see it that way. And I need to lighten it up a little bit on some other parts of my face. Okay, I just saw something. This comes way back. I'm gonna add a little bit more of that to her face. So I always look where something is in reference to something else, and I'm looking at her eye, and this comes past her eye, so it comes back to here. Um, which means this comes up a little bit more too. Okay. I think we're making changes. Sometimes you got to. Sometimes you gotta make those changes. Oh, Bert, Bert Sienna. And see, I might have seen this when I came in tomorrow and looked at it and said, oh, I'm glad I caught it now. And then this is going to be quite red underneath here. This Okay, we're gonna get that in there. Now she's looking, she's looking more Gabby-ish. So when I come back tomorrow, I'll be able to see, after it's dry, I'll take off the lines, and I think it'll be done. I'm, I'm going to be very, I think I'm going to be very pleased with it. Uh, I sure hope so, anyway, because there's not a whole lot, it's not like I could take it off. Um, I think I have the break a little too strong. This is where her eye is, that's the highlight, so we've got a little bit more head here. There's a highlight there, but I can't. There we go. And let's go 
because I have this paint out, I might as well use this paint as long as I can use it. Actually, this is going to be a lot more. Let's, let's redo that, that shine. Let's cover that shine up and redo it because there's a whole lot of black area here. And now I'm running into the problem of I can't see for the shine. Let's go ahead and make it black and do that part over. I think her eye is okay. Where her ear is. <laughs> Yes. All right, so she's got a nice round area here. Pushing that ear back just a little bit. Pushing it back. There we go. Each time you make a little correction, it makes a little bit more sense. Okay, let's get in here and put this shine in here. Folks, this is one of the reasons I don't like painting acrylics. Everybody has their thing. Save mine. But it's the best way to do this particular project anyway. Okay, so this shine goes up here now. I changed it. Is one that goes right in front of her face, but I'll probably do better getting that in tomorrow. I want to put, see I can't even see it, so I really should stop because if I can't see it, I don't know what I'm painting. So I'm going to stop on this for today. Be done for today. I'll pick it up again tomorrow. All right, here's day two, and I went ahead and erased the chalk lines, and I'm just looking at the confirmation and everything on the dog. I may have her de her uh, chest just a tiny bit deep. I may go ahead and and, and make that slope just a little bit less. Um, I wanted to make her fit into the confines of these two seams. And, you know, I, I'm trying to stay true to the breed. So, um, I've already sent what I have done so far um, to the person who commissioned me to do this. And she flipped out. She's like, oh my gosh, <laughs> she's excited. So, um, I'm excited. That always, that's always, that's always fun. So, we're going to go ahead and jump in and see if there's any little corrections. And make sure that we don't have um, any of the denim shining through here. Um, this really feels nice. Um, I am pretty convinced that this is going to do just fine. And I will heat treat it. Uh, I may take a, something like a soft iron and heat it up that way. Um, but I'm feeling pretty good about this. Yeah, this is kind of a fun little project and something you guys can do too. Um, I never, you know, I've never painted uh, anything on clothing and actually just did the research to find out what paint I would use and this is it said used acrylics and I was like well I've got acrylics so here we go here's our palette again same palette as we used yesterday but of course with it being acrylic yeah it dries out so we've got the ivory black uh, cobalt blue Payne's gray titanium white um, raw umber burnt umber I'm sorry raw sienna burnt umber and red oxide so we'll just go ahead and do whatever touch-ups we need to do on this gabby and we'll we'll call it a day okay i'm just looking i'm wanting to see if i can find anything that i need to change i'm going to use my little funky uh, um, brush that i was using yesterday which is a uh, it's a shiraz pointed round it's a small one happens to be a number one, I believe. Let's see if we can find it. Number one, number one. Can you not see that? 
Oh, that's why. There we go, that's what I'm using. And uh, I am just going to kind of put in, let's see, a little bit, any of the paints gray? Oh, I don't have any of the paints gray work in here. This will be good enough. Just looking for little highlights and this little bit of slope in the back. I'm gonna put a little bit of a lighter value too. I want her looking slick. Let's get this black as black in here. The only little things that I was going to try to get in here. Oh, let me see her head again. Try to get. Let that little piece of um, paint do the do the job here. Meaning, I'll load the brush so that it's um, right at the tip, so that I let the tip of the paint do the do the detail. I don't try to, so I basically don't even press. There we go.
putting in so they do have that lower lip here bit of the jowliness. And I've got to make sure it's thick enough, right? So that it can stand up. Let me look at that ear again. You know, I don't, I can only paint what I see or, and I, if I don't understand what I'm seeing, it's really difficult. So I'm assuming that that's the length of her ear. And, but sometimes I wonder if there's some stuff that I'm not quite getting, but I think that looks pretty good. I think it's pretty representational. Like I said, it's wonderful that this paint dries so fast. Um, I did want to put a little bit of the gray on the toe pads because the feet are up. And so she's got a little toe pad here. Hang on. There's a toe pad there. There's a toe pad here. Like that. And there's a toe pad here. It's little things, but kind of think they're important <laughs> and just like on this 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 like I mentioned this earlier this is the only foot that's actually touching the ground so I'm just kind of emphasizing this again I don't want to make it look weird, so I rethink that. I think it looks good on this one. I just want to... This foot, you really don't see much of it. I see the little bit of toe pad over here. Kind of right here, but I'm getting into the, the um, seam. piece now I haven't heat treated it but um, I, I'm gonna just take it home and run just the hairdryer or possibly an iron over it a little bit um, like I think she looks pretty slick and shiny and moving good and there we go there's Miss Gabby and there you have it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the, I wish I had a video to show you her, Nikki, receiving her jacket, but I don't. But she did send me a message on Instagram. So here's her message that she sent. And, you know, this is why I have the best job in the world. I get to see what people think of their, of the end product and, you know, 
this was this was wonderful. So I really did appreciate hearing from Nikki, and she's going to take it to New York and show at the Westminster Show. And so we want to wish Nikki and Gabby the best of luck on their show in New York at the Westminster. That's a big deal. We like to support a hometown girl and her hometown dog. So, yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions about anything I covered in the video, please leave it in the comments section. Know that I did have to, you know, I did heat treat this piece. So after it was dry, you know, dry to the touch, I took the piece home and I used a really hot hair dryer and I heated that piece up. And really you're wanting to heat set it. You're wanting that paint to set. So um, you can use an iron. I just happened to use, I, I actually used both. I used a hot iron and wasn't sure if it was hot enough. So I went ahead and used a, a, an iron. So in any case, that sucker is heat treated, trust me. And know that, you know, she's, this is on a denim jacket. So I pretty much can assume that she is not going to be throwing in the, this in the washing machine on a daily basis. And I'm pretty certain that there, this paint's not going anywhere. So I'm confident that she'll have this piece for a long, long time. And hopefully she'll show it off a little bit in New York for me. And. Uh, yeah create a little stir if you will so again thank you so much for joining me and if you are my subscribers as always thank you so much and if you're not consider subscribing and until the next time i'll see you from kingsport tennessee bye